donkey, ooh giraffe, penguins, What's meant to be in here? Can't see it. It's a fossa. <laughs> the rhinos are going to be friends with the deer. Ooh, there they are, we found them. Yeah, here, I reckon. Some nice flamingos wading in the water. Yeah. Okay. So we've chosen the flamingos to paint, one because I feel like they're a favourite of a lot of people. Um, the colour of them is really lovely, there's water in the enclosure which is always nice to paint and the fact that they stay still for 90% of the time um, is going to make it easier to paint them. paint today uh, which is a an opaque watercolor medium um, so I haven't prepped this this is a bit experimental really I feel like it's a mid-tone anyway because it's wood uh, and I'm not sure it needs a, a primed canvas so we'll, we'll see how it goes I have done it once in the past on a small canvas but I don't know what it's going to be like on this big canvas now and I'm just remembering that I had bought uh, some white paint. It might be in the car. Uh, this is such a pain. Well, I need to go and fill this up anyway, but I'm gonna have it. There's two with with gouache. You need a lot of this uh, zinc white medium because that's you, that's your base. All my highlights are gonna be doing done in, in zinc white. Um, but I've left it in the car. <laughs> that was a long <laughs> walk with a lot of wrong turns. I do not know my way around the zoo, but we've got him. Uh, so I'm just putting my gouache down. Using gouache today, something I've been experimenting with. I really love it. I want to get the flamingos in on my left and then the lovely water and reflections not prepped my panel today and that's because it's a wooden panel and it really matches the mid-tones of the scene that I'm painting so and I don't think it's going to affect the paint this is a bit experimental uh, I, I've done one recently and it didn't affect the paint so we'll see how it goes
I know I say this every single time, but it's the importance of just blocking in those colors and it's kind of counterintuitive because you'll go, oh well that doesn't look like what I'm trying to paint at the minute, but you need to get the bare bones of everything down before you can start adding different shades of light and different details. So this is an important part of the process. So James has just asked me, good question, why is it so pink where, where I'm painting at the minute? And the reason is because I know that there is a pink base layer under this. So my, what my eyes are seeing is pink base layer with all these different tones on top of it. So got to get that whole, this is part of the blocking in session. in where the flamingos are because they're going to move around uh, so I need to start getting them in so I'm just going to do that with blobs of roughly what color they are and to me at the minute I know obviously flamingos are pink but I'm seeing white orange and pink
we're finished. Uh, here's the painting. I've absolutely loved using the gouache. The colours, I, I thought they were going to be washed out, but they've, they've not. Uh, they, you know, I've been absolutely really impressed. I uh, loved painting at the zoo. Thank you to the zoo as well for uh, allowing us to paint here. Um, and yeah, if, if you've enjoyed the video, then um, like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. I need a posh yard. Look at tractor. An orange for that light. Should we try and paint a train one day? Probably too quick. <laughs>